the first answer is not always the last answer and the first answer can be a no but if you push and sell yourself properly the answer can change from become from being a no to becoming a yes and why do i say so when um Mordecai heard that they had passed a judgment that all of the Jews were going to be killed on a certain day. Mordecai was sackcloth, he was crying, he was throwing himself on the on the ground, he was wailing and he was like he was really sad about it. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by with me. So in today's video we'll be talking about the book of Esther. If you watch um, last week's Sunday's video, I said that I was going to talk about the lessons I learned from reading the book of Esther. And I told you guys that I was interested in reading the book of Esther because um, I was watching this YouTuber by the name Crowned in Faith and she spoke about some qualities in the woman Esther and I really just wanted to read and, and understand for myself and yeah I just wanted to know about this woman Esther because she seems very like fascinated about her qualities that she had. So I went into my Bible and you guys know that I always say this on my channel that the one thing that I want to do is to start reading my Bible or reading books because I don't, I'm not one of those people who read the Bible like that. Like I would rather sit down for like three hours and listen to a preacher preach like chapters, chapter by chapter like in the Bible and for me I retain it that way than for me to sit down and start reading the Bible. And I feel like me reading the Bible gives me a different kind of understanding from what I get when I hear from preachers. So I want to cultivate the habit of reading my Bible. So in that light, I went ahead and read the entire book of Esther. It's not very long, 10 chapters and it's done. So I read the entire book of Esther. And Esther, uh, the book of Esther is just surrounded around um, a Jewish heroine who became the queen from, from, from being an orphan. She became uh, the queen and she used her past as queen to save her people from tragedy and so yeah i i really enjoyed reading the book i think i've read it more than once from the time i wanted to read it i read it the first time and then i realized that the name god was not mentioned in the book so i started reading again but i didn't get right up to chapter 10 but i was just reading again because i wanted to get more understanding from reading again the first lesson i learned from the book of esther is the fact that God's assignment for you in this life entails preparation. So you cannot, you cannot succeed with carrying out God's assignment for you without a phase of preparation. So most times you want to skip into doing what God wants us to do without preparing. Like it's impossible for me to come and sit down here and do this video without actually going into my Bible and reading the book of Esther. If I wanted to talk about the book of Esther and then I didn't go and prepare, didn't go and read the book of Esther and start reading it all over again and try to understand and watch videos where people are talking about this book and try to understand what this book is really about and listen to God speak to me at the same time. I would not be able to do this video. So most times we try, we want to skip that preparation phase, and the preparation phase most of the times will involve, um, it will involve some highs and lows, like some failures. It will involve trying to do something, not being able to do it. it will involve trying again. It will involve putting in a lot of effort. That's one of the main things that I learned from the book of Esther, and this was particularly coming from the fact that Esther was being prepared for one year to meet her husband. I mean, not just her. But these young ladies were put together, they were, being, uh, they, they, they were doing like, just, and, and, and realized that this attitude of us women before our marriage, we are trying to lose weight, trying to snatch that waist, trying to get our faces clear, trying to make sure there's no acne. All of this is not something of today because if uh, in the book of Esther you see that these young ladies were being prepared by special people in the palace before the, the king had to see them and now choose his own um, preferred wife. So yeah, Esther went through a preparation phase of one year before she became the queen. So I think that God's assignment for you, God's assignment for me entails a phase of preparation. That's the first lesson that I learned. The second lesson that I learned from the book of Esther is the fact that the first answer is not always the last answer. And the first answer can be a no, but if you push and sell yourself properly, the answer can change from, become, from being a no to becoming a yes. And why do I say so? When um, Mordecai heard that they had passed a judgment that all of the Jews were going to be killed on a certain day, Mordecai was sackcloth, he was crying, he was throwing himself on the, on the ground, he was wailing and he was like he was really sad about it. Then now he sent a message to his, um, his daughter who is actually his cousin, um, 
Queen Esther sent a message to her saying, you are the queen. You need to help us. This is what they are saying, that they, they, they are going to kill the Jews. And this, this message has been, this law has been passed by your husband, the king. So you now in the position of queen, you need to help us so that they should not kill all of us who are Jews. What happened is Esther sent him a message back that you know that I cannot go in front of the king if he doesn't call me. Because there was this thing, there's this law that nobody goes in front of the king, of King, of king Zeze, without them being called by him. So if you go in front of him when he doesn't call you, you're going to die. And so when Esther told, um, Esther now sent back a message to Mordecai saying that I can't go in front of the king because he hasn't called me and I don't know when next he's going to call me. So I'm not going to be able to go and beg him to not kill all the Jews. So when this message got to Mordecai, Mordecai knew he had to put in some more pressure. He did not just take that answer and lay back. He sent her another message and he said that, remember, you yourself, you're a Jew. So when the time comes to kill the Jews, you will not be exempted, remember. And then he said to her, this position of queen that you have in this kingdom, maybe God put you there to save your people at a time like this. So this is Mordecai pushing past the first no or the first lukewarm response that Esther sent to him. And he said, no, I can't let it go like this. I would say this. And when he said that, Esther realized that, yeah, that's true. So what did she do? She went ahead and sent a message back to Mordecai asking him that they should go into a three days fast. He sent that message to Mordecai that he should tell all the other Jewish people in the land to go in for a three days fast while she also goes in for a fast. And then she walks up now to the king, even without the king calling her. And there is this thing, when you go in front of the king, in front of King Zeze, and he does, he puts up his, his scepter, I will leave this way, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly. If he puts up his scepter, then you will be safe, you will be free, you're not going to be killed. So when Esther fasted, and this is another lesson, this is another part where you see that there has to be preparation before you actually do what it is you're doing. And she fought the battle first of all spiritually. She knew that if she walks into that, her husband's, um, like wherever he is, he sits, that you have to walk in and go and meet him. If she walks in there when she had not been called, there is a very high chance that she'll be killed if he does not raise up that scepter. So what did she do? She went into fasting, told her people, her brother, told all of them to go into fasting and they fought that battle spiritually. So they were trying to fight spiritually to make him raise that scepter so that she can get in and pass the message and try to save her people. And it actually worked because after the fasting, she went in there and he raised the scepter and she made her point and she ended up having a, finding a way to save her people. So this is another um, part where I see the fact that there is always, there always has to be a form of preparation. There always has to be a form of physical, spiritual, mental preparation for every battle or for every task that you have at hand. So yeah, I've spoken about two lessons that I learned from reading the book of Esther. One other lesson that I learned from the book of Esther is the fact that pride comes before a fall. Even the Bible says it, that God is going to reject the proud people. God is not, God does not like proud people. And Haman in this book of Esther was a proud, proud villain. Like he was, he didn't care about the people of God. He cared only about himself. He was just a ruthless person who could cook up evil plans just to get people down. I mean, when the king um, pushed him up to the level of prime minister, the king gave him a very high position in the community. He used it for his own selfish gains. He was very proud. He asked everybody to be falling down by his feet and because Mordecai did not do that, Mordecai said he would never kneel down before him. He just automatically disliked Mordecai and he started plotting Mordecai's death and all of that. But if you read the book of Esther, and I urge you guys to go and read the book of Esther because I can't really start saying everything that happened in the book of Esther. And if I say it, I'm going to be saying it in my own words. I am also trying to learn and understand the Bible and pick out lessons from every chapter that I can. So I'll motivate you guys, I'll ask you guys to go and read the book of Esther or to just open uh, maybe YouTube and listen to a pastor preaching on the book of Esther and you will understand the story better. So if you read um, this uh, book of Esther, you realize that because of Haman's pride, he was so full of pride, because of his pride, he ended up being the one who was killed in the position where he was supposed to hang Mordecai. He was the one who was hung there with his his um, his family so pride comes before a fall if you are too full of yourself if you have too much pride in you that you can't bring yourself down you can't say i'm sorry when you need to say i'm sorry you can't fix the situation that needs fixing then 
just know that after that action of yours the fall is coming pride comes before a fall so every time that you start feeling engulfed in yourself you start feeling like you're all and all please go down on your knees and start begging god that papa god i beg i don't want to die i don't want to fall help me take this character away from me that's one of the lessons that i learned from the book of esther another very important lesson and this will be the last lesson i'll talk about that i learned from the book of esther is the fact that there is purpose to every platform that god gives you like for example for me my youtube channel is a platform that god gave me anybody could be doing this youtube it's not like i have two horns anybody could be could take their phone put wherever they are putting it and start talking but not everybody is doing it so this platform that god gave me is because there is a purpose i mean esther was raised from an orphan to a queen there was a purpose her purpose being a queen was to save her people when the time came and she used that platform very well prepared herself and saved her people from death so there's always a purpose every platform that god gives you and the thing is you might not understand the purpose now you might not see but if you have peace in yourself you're prayed you know that like for me i feel really comfortable doing this on youtube and most times when i put out my faith-based content i realize that it doesn't get as much as is it as much as is it as much or as many it doesn't get as many views as my other regular videos would but then i keep on putting it because i feel like there's a purpose in me um, putting out my faith-based content like I don't know which person I'm going to motivate to read their Bible to to change certain aspects of their life to become better a better Christian and so in that I take pride in that I take satisfaction and I know that this platform is going to propel me to higher heights somehow it must not be like directly YouTube YouTube but maybe from somewhere like a door is going to open because someone saw me on YouTube so I feel like Every platform that God gives you, just be the best that you can be with whatever it is that you have at that moment. Do not underlook a platform that you're giving. Do not feel like, oh, I should have been bet on CNN talking. Oh, no. Just appreciate the platform that you have because not everybody has it. And then use it to the best of your ability. Use it as much as you can. So, yeah, that's one of the lessons that I learned from the book of Esther. Every platform that God gives you has a purpose. There is a purpose in every platform that God gives gives you so that's one of the lessons i took out from the book of esther and yeah if you have watched this video right up until now thank you very much i'm glad to have you here i appreciate you coming to my channel all the time see you guys on my next video i will be uploading um hopefully i'll have a vlog to upload and um, sometime within the week and then on sunday we'll have a regular sit down sunday videos um, I'm going to do a video on why I shaved my hair, on the reactions that I got from people. It's going to kind of be like a story time. There's a whole story, a whole, like there's a whole reason behind me shaving my hair. So I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to share with you guys. Maybe next week, I don't know, or the next week, I don't know. I just want to keep to to my my plan like i don't want to over upload when i have content and then end up drying myself out of content so yeah i'm going to take my time but that video is coming to you guys soonest see you guys on my next one bye